the reality principle. Reality, i.e. the real universe, contains all and only that which is real. The reality concept is analytically self-contained, if there were something outside reality that were real enough to affect or influence reality, it would be inside reality, and this contradiction invalidates any supposition of an external reality, up to observational or theoretical relevance, point 31. While this characterization of reality incorporates a circular definition of relevance, the circularity is essential to the reality concept and does not preclude a perceptual, observational, scientific, basis. Indeed, we can refine the definition of reality as follows, reality is the perceptual aggregate including, 1, all scientific observations that ever were and ever will be, and, 2, the entire abstract and our cognitive explanatory infrastructure of perception, where the abstract is a syntactic generalization of the concrete standing for ideas, concepts or cognitive structures distributing over physical instances which conform to them as content conforms to syntax. It should be noted that any definition amounts to a microscopic theory of the thing defined. The reality principle, which can be viewed as a general definition of reality, is a case in point, it can be viewed as the seed of a reality theory that we have now begun to build. In defining reality as self-contained, this micro-theory endows itself with a simple kind of closure, it calls on nothing outside the definiendum in the course of defining it, and effectively forbids any future theoretical extension of this definition from doing so either, this becomes explicit in a related principle, the map. But now back to the cue. Thus far, we have learned that reality is self-contained, it is everywhere the same as itself. What about all of its internal distinctions? Syndifionesis. Reality is a relation, and every relation is a syndifionic relation exhibiting syndifionesis or difference in sameness. Therefore, reality is a syndifionic relation. Syndifionesis implies that any assertion to the effect that two things are different implies that they are reductively the same. If their difference is real, then they both reduce to a common reality and are to that extent similar. Syndifionesis, the most general of all reductive principles, forms the basis of a new view of the relational structure of reality. The concept of syndifionesis can be captured by asserting that the expression and or existence of any difference relation entails a common medium and syntax, i.e. The rules of state and transformation characterizing the medium. It is from these rules that the relation derives its spatial and temporal characteristics as expressed within the medium. Thus, a syndifionic relation consists of a difference relation embedded in a relational medium whose distributed rules of structure and evolution support its existence. Every syndifionic relation has synetic and diffionic phases respectively exhibiting synesis and diffionesis, sameness and difference, or distributivity and parametric locality, and displays two forms of containment, topological and descriptive. The medium is associated with the synetic phase, while the difference relation is associated with the diffionic phase, because the rules of state and transformation of the medium are distributed over it, the medium is homogeneous, intrinsically possessing only relative extension by virtue of the difference relationships it contains. Because diffionic relands are related to their common expressive medium and its distributive syntax in a way that combines aspects of union and intersection, the operation producing the medium from the relands is called unisection. The synetic medium represents diffionic potential of which the difference relationship is an actualization. The above diagram might be compactly expressed as follows, sin, xy diff, xy. For example, sin, nom ax nom bx, diff, nom ax, nom bx, means that we're nom ax, nom bx are sets of laws obeyed by the system x at different times, locations or frames of reference a and b within the system x, there exists a more basic set of laws, nom ax nom bx, in terms of which this difference may be expressed. This shows that on some level, general covariance must hold. This is not merely true up to isomorphism with X, even if more than one valid set of laws can be distinguished, any one of which might be active at any given location, A B, within X, X A nom 1, X B nom 2, where numerical indices denote nomological distinctness, any distinguishable difference between these sets also requires a common syntax. Informational coherence is thus a sign qua non of recognizable existence, any system in which it were to fail would simply decohere for lack of anything to hold it together. 
In other words, one, where informational distinctions regarding a system max are regarded as instantiations of law, they can also be regarded as expressions conforming to syntax, and, two, the expression of differences requires a unified expressive syntax, or set of laws, and this syntax must distribute over the entire set of differential expressions, or instantiations of law. E.g., where X is a perceptual intersect consisting of generally recognizable objects, attributes, and events, the laws of perception must ultimately be constant and distributed. Where a putative nomological difference exists for some pair of loci, A, B, reductive syntactic covariance applies due to the need for an expressive medium, and where no such difference exists for any pair of loci, A, B, syntactic covariance applies a fortiori with no need for reduction. Syndophionic relations can be regarded as elements of more complex infocognitive lattices with spatial and temporal, ordinal, stratificative, dimensions. Interpreted according to CTMU duality principles, infocognitive lattices comprise logical relationships of state and syntax. Regressing up one of these lattices by unisection ultimately leads to a syntactic medium of perfect generality and homogeneity, a universal, reflexive syntactic operator. In effect, syndifianesis is a metalogical tautology amounting to self-resolving paradox. The paradox resides in the coincidence of sameness and difference, while a type-theoretic resolution inheres in the logical and mathematical distinction between them, i.e. The stratificative dimension of an infocognitive lattice point 32 thus, reducing reality to syndifianesis amounts to paradox of forming it. This has an advantage, a theory and a reality built of self-resolving paradox is immunized to paradox. So far, we know that reality is a self-contained syndophionic relation. We also have access to an instructive sort of diagram that we can use to illustrate some of the principles which follow. So let us see if we can learn more about the kind of self-contained syndophionic relation that reality is.